Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to the messenger. About to have our beach episode. Since, uh, what's his nuts? Barmathazel or whatever. Went to the beach and fucked up the picnic of the, the cute little folkkins or whatever. Um, so we're gonna go help them out. Rescue them and, and some shit. Maybe have a picnic. Uh, who knows. So here we are. Here we are on the beach. Um, where the heck even are we? Oh, okay. So we've got some... Weird, there's some exits over on the left? And or down? Oh, yeah, I guess, right? Yeah, okay. There's a bit of water that we didn't bother with before. Right, because we couldn't, because it was all blocked off and shit. Uh, but I don't recall doing the thing over on the bottom left there, though. So what's, what's the deal with that? Can we just swim there? Yeah, I suppose we can. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that! that. We can swim underwater and get a bunch of whatevers that we probably don't really need <laughs> at this point. All it's gonna do is give us more uh, uh, time crystals for like the weird toy things, which yeah, could take or leave really. <laughs> hey Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. Ah, well, we'll get them eventually, like, maybe. Oh, hey, what's this? Right, this is the replacement for the, uh, power med medallion things, right? What do we got? Is it a... looks kind of like a flip-flop? What is it? What... what was that? <laughs> oh, shit, hey, look at you, you found an optional item. A mask piece, okay. I see. <laughs> Certainly yield more than asking rhetorical questions. Good luck. <laughs> she thinks, shopkeeper. Wow. Very helpful, per usual. Okay, but hey, I guess we can get those as we're uh, as we're going through. That did not look like a mask piece to me. It looked like a flip-flop or something. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Yes, well, we'll pick up all the time crystal stuff on our way, I suppose. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, we need to uh, change the time period here. How, how does one do that? Where was the little time flippy floppy juice here? Did I totally miss it? No, no, I don't want to do that. Wow, that's got actually quite a, quite a spread on it here. Huh. Alright. Alright. Well, let's find it somewhere, I guess. Ruxton having his little balance moment there, good for him. Um, but we gotta find where the, uh, the time swap thing is. Let's just literally pop in and out here? No, of course not. Hmm. That's curious. Well, I felt kind of bad bodying those dudes, but, uh... Okay? Hmm. Curious. Alright, there wasn't anything down here, right? That was just the path around to get the weird mask piece thing. Alright, sure, let's go surfing again. Whilst we think about what to do. Hmm. 
No, I already know how to surf. <laughs> I already know how to surf, Ruxton. Come on, we just did this last time. And the one we were missing wasn't, uh, wasn't here until very, very late, so it's not like we're going to be missing anything just by powering through. Whoops. <laughs> Not that the score probably terribly matters, does it? that whole bunch of score there just by bopping that dude at the wrong time. Alright, that one we already got clearly, right? it again. Yep, sure did. Damn it. <laughs> I need to fight this boss again. Alright, it's fun as it is. Alright, let's see what we got again. I like that one better than last time. We still missed the uh, last feather from before, right?
<laughs> so silly. Alright, yeah. It goes it runs through the entire intro again, huh? Another look around here, although there's not many places to look here. What's the What's the deal? Those three having a little, little hop around or whatever. Oh wait, I think I Well, oh, maybe I don't. <laughs> okay. Thinking about maybe trying to leverage myself up above the screen a little bit, but hmm. They quite literally want me to go back out and back in or something. Who knows? But no, now I'm still 8 bit land, but maybe I can. Um... Oh, they're not letting me do that again. Alright. Maybe I can just do that. Will that take. No, puts me back to there. Alright, let me go quickly to somewhere else here. Just exit right there. Okay. Should put me back in at 16, right? Okay, let's try that. Uh huh. Is that gonna dump me back to 8 bit regardless? Yeah, it looks like it. Damn. Hmm, okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, my other thought then right now is something to do with idiot face here. That we've got to somehow get him out of hiding and beat the shit out of him or something so he puts back the time portals or whatever, I don't know. Nothing to do with him, really. And there's only so many things I can do. Hmm. Well, damn it, here I was hoping to enjoy my nice beach episode, but what a real bad blocker right at the start. Do they want from us? Hmm. Yeah, no, it didn't look like there was another path underwater. It's a good thought, but no. Place. Maybe we gotta talk to him. Uh, chat. Current area. We already chatted with him there. Yeah, about the bunch of stories we heard last time. That's fun and cool. Stupid infinity pun. <laughs> uh, okay, nothing more about that. interactable in here. I guess we can buy something while we're thinking about this. Hmm. This doesn't matter. Sure. Bottom. Good job. Oh, he's got a little thing. <laughs> so it's, it's the bestiary, apparently. Okay. 
Very good. Mm. Oh! Wait, what the hell? Now suddenly that's there. Uh, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Seems weird, but alright. Anything of value up there? No. Maybe that was purposeful, anyways. Ah, I see. Cut those down. Nice. <laughs> That's cute. Shuriken already? Okay, he doesn't have anything else for us. I figured he would get chattier the further we went here, but no. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> oh, I see. It's an airlock of sorts. <laughs> He would have been able to do that without the fancy shuriken.
that. <laughs> there that we haven't grabbed, so I'll try not to backtrack too much here, but here's if that's what they want for now. Saleable. Shit. I think I might have skipped past it a little bit too far. Ah, well. Come back and get it later, I guess. Pirate bird. <laughs> some good speed on that first one that I totally duffed up, but eh.
Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Got a little greedy. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, there was a thing down to the left. Interesting. We get that on the return trip. <laughs> sure, that's a, a bit of a cheater way to do it, but fuck it. Be back here without the fucking. Oh, because of course it does. <laughs> Okay then. 
Oh, oh goodness, all right. Puzzles in my beach day? What the hell? All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, that looks right. Uh, that does not. That does. <laughs> Backtrack a little bit there. Uh, well, maybe actually. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> I can fall through there. Oh, oh, geez. If I would have gotten crushed by that. There's a way up here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Is four. Um, how many are actually here, though? Five. All right. Well, it's got them all. It's in the one way back when. That's right. I have a feeling we need to grab that last feather in order for it to actually do anything, anyways. So, be one more pass through here eventually. <laughs> Basic platform. Excuse me. Ah. Ah! That's <laughs> my chance. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Damn it. 
Well played. Well, not really. Just poorly played on my part. on the opposite edge. Nice. Good job. All right, because I didn't grab the health there. <laughs> Duh. Duh. -uh. Smart enough not to let me get too much above him there. fast enough to get away. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, that's dumb. All right. This time for real. Seems like it's getting a little bit problematic. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I see you up there. Oh, ah, you little bitch. Oh, yeah. It's getting serious though. Storm's picking up. Dude's getting a little bit angrier. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Ah, crap. Wow. 
on. Oh boy. <laughs> Damn, he's still out dead. Shit. Oh, okay. Eh. Yeah. Oh, oh jeez. Wow. Really almost caught me with that. Near that? Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Mm. Ah, getting closer. It's gotta not duff up nearly as many cycles as I did. Dead center. Oops. Yeah, definitely shouldn't shouldn't have done that dead center. Well, well. that either. <laughs> Too late though. <laughs> Too fucking late though. Oh, no. Alright, easy. We did it. We freed you from the evil totem. <laughs> Thanks for destroying my totem? Question mark. Attack first. What are you talking about? I was doing a ritual to prevent the volcano from activating. <laughs> oh, I see. This is like the emerald golem from before. Oops. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything worth doing once is worth doing twice, I suppose. Good joke. You leave these in the wind tunnel. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Funny as hell. <laughs> huh. That's pretty. shorter than I think it is. Alright, does this technically count as a new area? Yeah, there we go. Fire Mountain, where it's Sunset Hut. 
Why isn't it just called the volcano? Because that's not very exciting. <laughs> Some kid named this one. <laughs> okay, as long as you take the climb, you can call it whatever you want. How about another story? This is a couple of farmers who inherited a very peculiar patch of land. And once every harvest season, it would grow a gigantic crystal pumpkin. Oh, that's pretty sick. A few years of living a very wealthy life by dominating the crystal market with fruit, <laughs> the farmers were taken over by greed. Realizing that the pumpkin patch had to be laying over a crystal mine of some sort, they dug up all the plants and shoveled dirt while fantasizing about what they would do with all their riches. Weren't they already super rich? Figures. Fortunately, as it quickly dawned on them, there was no rare mineral, mineral cash to be found. One thing they did find, however, was that in destroying their pumpkin patch, they had for forfeited all future chances of getting their yearly giant crystal fruit yield. Ha! Ah, hubris. They lived unhappily ever after, wishing they had taken good care of their plants instead of letting their greed ruin everything. Moral of this story is that one should be grateful for what they have. <laughs> be mindful not to lose it by always wanting more. That's fucking great. I love it. Good story. <laughs> it's the whole poultry murder bit. Love it. Two things you can take away from it. First, <laughs> pointing this out, you just gutted a perfectly enjoyable story of its ability to enchant you. You ripped its core open and broke it, rendering it worthless. Exactly the way a greedy crystal pumpkin farmer would. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Second, I bet you thought pumpkins were vegetables. Uh, no, they're fruits, because they've got seeds on the inside. <laughs> I didn't think pumpkins were a vegetable. That's like assuming tomatoes are a vegetable. They're not, they're a fruit. Fuck you, shopkeeper, I knew pumpkins were a fruit. Jerk. That's gonna be a problem if we fall down there, huh? Oh. Mm. Fucking ass grenades he's got going on over there? Get out of here. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see it. Yeah, too bad you missed the beginning of that story, because it was, it was a pretty good one. Like, of all the stories that Shopkeeper has told us, that one was pretty good. Oh, see you, buddy. <laughs> ah, come on. He's even crouched down to fucking slice him in the face, and I still got bopped. I see. Ah, interesting. Oh, yeah. Let's try, it, buddy. Oh no! Uh oh! <laughs> uh, damn it! Wait, do they want me to 
Oh, I see. It's probably just a, a backside thing. Oh, shit! Eh. Oh, and this is considered an... Oh, interesting. Yeah, different area. So now we have five there, and we missed one there. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. Give me a way to do this here. I feel like we already missed a first piece there, because I don't think that was the first one in the other section. Boggle maps. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Because they already show me all the pieces, right? One, two, three, four, and then the fifth we just got. Yeah, okay. Never mind, we're good. You clever fucks. Nice try. Ow! Super Mario Brothers 2. I know how that shit goes. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, whatever it works. Uh. Oh. Yeah. That again. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Oh no! Oh, I see. <laughs> That's what they wanted me to do. <laughs> Clever bastards. <laughs> Cute. None of that.
Oh, crap. Uh... <laughs> yeah, good enough. Something more to say since we're still technically in the same area. Yeah. Oh, we do have enough money for two more statuettes, though. That's cool. How much for the boss? 2,000 for the boss is making this. Alright, yeah. Just do the fucking whatevers. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Probably not gonna get them all. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Oh, hey, there's the crystal pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, oh, that wasn't what I expected it to be. Don't. <laughs> being airborne for whatever amount of time, I'm sure. That's exactly what we were doing here. X number of cloud steps in a row or something, I bet. First one. Very good. Good job. the edge of that before it fell.
throw something over on the top there, though. Yep, of course there is. Mm, yeah, I see. I see what you're doing. <laughs> okay. Well, this might be solvable actually, just by. Yeah, yeah, easy peasy. All right, second try. We'll take it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, well, pfft. <laughs> job. Uh, fucking great. I thought there was only four Phobikins before. <laughs> I thought you died during the explosion. But then he went to the underworld because he died, so now he's back. <laughs> she's so described the fastest there's ever been. Really? Not really. It's not extremely fast. All right, what's he got here? Is this magic seed? It's almost done absorbing voodoo energy. <laughs> okay. Comes the fear these little guys are an endless supply. I mean, yeah, it's in their name. <clears throat> Holy charge magic seed, I need to scare them good. That fact, I think they should thank you for setting me right in my trap. By trap, I mean voodoo altar. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> Rut row. Ah, oh, shit. It's my shadow alternate dark messenger. <clears throat> enough idols first and dark Corval will be defeated. Fail and you will lose your own protector, leaving you completely exposed for the dark messenger to take your life. Let's see, blah, blah, blah. Race against myself? Well, good. I'm terrible at racing, so I should be able to win. <laughs> Talking to pirate face ever again. Oh, you mean just prevent this? I'd rather not die. I mean, I'd rather not die either. Alright, uh, okay. Gotta go fast, I guess. Damn it. I wish we had learned how to run. Cultists, primal fear. One of the branching points mentioned by the Prophet. Oh, jeez. Man, this is getting a little deeper than I would have expected out of a beach episode. All makes sense now. Let's look after them right away. All right. So, see ya? What the? Ooh, okay. All right. Gotta go fast. Let's go. Actually, wait. We got time to chat to this dude first. <laughs> we got time for a story. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? I'm not sure. Strong to suggest you give your best shot to this race against your evil twin. Let's let's hear a story first. Ah oh, damn it. Come on, no, tell me a story first. Tell you a good one after you save the day. Ah, fine. 
I guess that's all right. Man. All right, let's go. I, oh, I have to slash it myself, huh? Okay. Well, son of a... Oh, I can't fucking... I have to slash it. I didn't know I had to slash it. They didn't tell me I had to slash it, motherfuckers. Alright, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. Also, he's invisible for some reason. Oh, because he's in 16-bit land. I was in 8-bit land. All right. Yeah, look at how fucking slow he is. What a piece of shit. See, we're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, it doesn't count hitting it with my fancy-ass shuriken. Oh, oh crap. Oh, jeez. Oh. Everything's fine. Aha! Still got you, bitch! <laughs> Get out of here. Whee! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, clever bitch! Oh no! I think he's got this one! <laughs> wow! He fucking went off and I am dead. Alright. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're still ahead like four to two. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh! Oh, you little cheating bitch! You little cheater shithead. Ah, oh, this is no good. Ah! <laughs> little cheating shithead. Oh no, he did the thing again. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Misdirection! Motherfucker! Oh no! Oh! Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, little bitch. Alright, it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh! Oh crap. That's not fair. He knows exactly where to go. What a shithead. Oh, I didn't want to do that. by the dumbass bat! Fuck you, man! Oh, oh no, he's climbing much faster than I am. Fucker. Oh, oh no, I fucked it up there. Ah. Alright, you know what? Fine. I'll just fucking beat him in combat. That's fine. Oh, wait, what? Oh, come on! No, I wanted to actually fight him. Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it, I was hoping for a straight fight. Uh. Boo! Boo! Come on. There, fuck you. If I, had, if I hadn't fucked up the first one, I probably would have had it just fine, you know? Whatever. Eat shit, Shadow Me! See, look, they give you the... They, they softball the first few. Make you think you got a shot, right? I do like the the later ones though were were very difficult. Like that was that was cool, enjoyable. Oh, easy, buddy. Also easy.
<clears throat> Alright, one more. Oh, shit, that's right. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, he gets that one because he, he does the good things there. <sighs> what a shithead. And then I missed that one, of course, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that one's, that one's rough. That was really rough. Oh, right, and then he did the fucking cheaterly shit here. He popped back because, oh, he doesn't get hit by shit. <laughs> Ah, fuck you, man! Low road! Low road, bitch! I win! <laughs> oh, come back here, you coward! Alright, where are we at? There we are. Alright, I believe we were promised a story, weren't we? I mean, we haven't saved the day, technically, but hey, tell me a story now, alright? Ah, really? I figure we're, we're no longer in danger, right? Because we got rid of evil his evil quarrel or whatever. Yeah, 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 come here, fuckface. <laughs> in my hand, of course. The dark messenger's full potential to be unleashed. It first needed to be untethered from its greed demon. Ah, crap. <clears throat> Wait, so why wasn't my full potential unleashed when my greed demon eat shit. Like, come on. That's not fair. Ah, fudge. Eh. Alright, well, they're they're gonna do the thing, and I'm gonna beat the shit out of- Oh, jeez. That, that's, that actually looks pretty sick. <laughs> Honestly, that looks pretty cool. Oh, is this gonna be Rock'em Sock'em Robots now? Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 now we gotta do the thing and, like, do big-ass titan battle or whatever. That crap. <laughs> uh, duh, it's just the, the hat on this guy. <laughs> what do you mean? I've got a sick hat. Let's, let's do it. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, okay, you know what? Fair, fair, fair. Fair, fair cop. Fair cop on that. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, is this gonna be a fucking punch-out thing now? Oh, this would be so sick if it's a punch-out thing. It is. <laughs> oh, eh. All right, so more, more bald bull than glass Joe, I guess, huh? Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Don't, don't duck when he's doing the cross up there. Oh, ah! You can tell it's been a while since I've played Yieldy Punch Out. Oh, oh, look at, oh, look at, oh, oh, shit! Ow! Ah! Oh, <laughs> oh, you little bitch, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Ah! Oh, B. Oh, I see. <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, that was funny. I love it. Fight. Fight! <laughs> oh, oh, you little shit. Ah, jeez. Oh, come on! Oh, oh, yeah, I probably should have ducked that one. Oh, little bitch. Ah, <laughs> I think I'm gonna lose this one. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, come on. Not quite as snappy of a response as you'll be punch out. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Oh, I fucking lost it because I got bots. Yeah, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bonk. <laughs> bonk. Ah, jeez. Tell on that is kind of hard to deal with. There we go. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Oh, oh, you got them, got me with the fucking eye flash. Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, cross up. Oh, come on. Ah! <laughs> to, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's funny, though. That is fucking funny as hell. No, I don't need boxing tips. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, short stack. We got this. <laughs> uh, this is funny as hell. I love it. <clears throat> Fight. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bam. <laughs> hmm, fucking hell, man. Fight. Oh, hey, yeah. I guess blocking is a legit strategy too, rather than just dodging everything. Oh, hey. I don't get the sick ass counter attacks though. Fuck you. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Fight. Damn, oops. To the wrong side of that one. Fight. Oh yeah? <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> oh yeah, come on. Oh! <laughs> uh, oh yeah, fuck you, man. Oh yeah! <laughs> to be sure, right? Holy shit. Eat it, you idiot. Ah, of course. Naturally, there's got to be at least one more, right? <laughs> oh, come on, really? <laughs> Right, we gotta go back to that picnic. We gotta have our beach episode. We got all distracted by saving these idiots. Going into a volcano and shit. 
<coughs> Hell yeah, now we're here. Uh, except we we missed a couple of the things, right? That was the whole deal. So you tell me a story after everything was resolved. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's see. yeah, I wanna fucking hear a, a really good story. Story about a story, or more precisely about a friend of mine's relation to it. Okay. The little girl who had a favorite fairy tale. She couldn't get enough of it. Every week she wanted to hear it again. It's like the dysfunctional patterns we recreate in our lives. Oh no. But part of her was hoping that by listening to the same story endlessly, its ending would eventually change. Well, you see, she only truly liked the first half. That's something like this. <clears throat> Let's find that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once upon a time, there lived a monstrous beast in a castle who kept a farmer prisoner in his dungeon. That's... Okay, that's a hell of an opener. One day, the farmer's daughter went to the beast's, beast's castle to offer herself as a prisoner in exchange for her father's freedom. The farmer being quite a selfless dad and the beast quite a reasonable bully, everyone instantly agreed. First, very scared and put off by the beast's appearance, she quickly learned to look past the surface and become quite fond of him. Far from being a blatantly romanticized case of Stockholm Syndrome, <laughs> her feelings toward him grew into genuine love. The beast, as it, as it soon turned out, was actually a beautiful prince who had the misfortune of being turned into a monster by an evil witch. Yeah, of course, naturally. A spell which could only be broken by receiving a kiss from his true love. The power of the relationship helped him reconnect with the good within him. And it's, oh my god, alright. As a captor who had never revisited, uh, has never revisited or brought into question after he became the farmer's son-in-law. They all lived happily ever after. The end. Okay. It's, that wasn't the... Like, I like the first half of that story better, honestly. <laughs> uh, of course, I remember it's about my friend. She didn't like the story so much past a certain point, right? <clears throat> Why do you think that is? Maybe she thinks beasts are cooler than humans? Eh? Uh, fair guess. She told me is that she didn't like the prince's voice anymore once he re was returned to his human form. Hey, okay, that that's legitimate, right? It's a clever one, and I can't shake the feeling that part of her thought it didn't really make sense that someone who had the depth of maturity to look past the surface would receive a reward as superfluous as good looks. Ah! Uh, that's, that's okay, that's good, that's great, I love it. Or maybe that's where the whole deal became awfully suspicious. Think about it, there's always something sketchy about apparent perfection. Yeah, the appearance of a beast showcasing hideous hideousness so openly. At least offers the security of letting you know what you're in for. Okay, you yeah, know, fair. Trait so evident and so repulsive it could only be uphill from there for the one who would take a closer look. <clears throat> Whereas with the perfect front, all that is left is to slowly deconstruct this perfection by slowly noticing flaws. Hey, that's, hey, that's not a bad moral. <clears throat> it's a rare and valuable thing for people to look past the surface, so why would it make sense to offer them something shallow and material in response? find it to also convey a very important message. A message you need to pay close attention to notice, but which is nonetheless written everywhere, between the lines. Contrast carries beauty. Colorful shirt of the introvert. <laughs> a pack of watermelon bubblegum in the old lady's purse. Eh, yeah, that's, that's true. Man, water... Man, it's been so long since I've had watermelon bubblegum. That shit's delicious. Melodic background harmonies of the death metal song. <laughs> the cute earrings of the stone face. Smell of dust kicking up when sudden rain combines with the bright sun on the sun. Damn! Shopkeeper! Fucking poetic and also awesome. While others may benefit from paying attention to more stories, some people perceive these things instinctively. Seeing how curious and captivated you are, I'd wager you belong to the second- Damn! Fuck! Man, got our number. When it comes to my friends, sometimes I like to think that to her, a better title for this fairy tale would have been The Beauty in the Beast. Ah, ah, ah. I'm not sure what to make of all this. I'm pretty sure what to make of all this. That was rad. Ah, uh, don't overthink. It's just my special way of saying... Excuse me to that little girl. Okay. Don't know what that word is or which language it's from, but I'm sure it means something very beautiful. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy this more than if I had sung Happy Birthday to her. Aww. As you, Messenger, I hope that in the end you won't think your adventure would have been better... I hope that in the end you won't think your adventure would have been better without a bonus tropical side quest. Anyway, vacation's over. Go pack now. Be on the east side. Ah, uh, I get it. Well, alright. That was a hell of a fucking story. <coughs> if you ever need to measure anything, you can use me. From the bottom of my shoes to the tip of this tape, I measure exactly 112 centimeters. 
Really? Yeah, I guess that kind of tracks. It's a little bit over a meter. Yeah, all right. Sure you have to leave soon? We can have so much fun. I mean, we've still got at least one thing to grab, and then we've got to do the whole surfing thing to get that last feather, too, I suppose. Well, eventually, yeah, we only organized this picnic because we wanted permission to drink little juice box. It's totally worth it. Uh, sure. Okay. Alright, I guess we talked to Ruxton and GTFO, huh? Party isn't bad, I'll need to get back to my lab soon. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, no. Not ready to leave yet. I mean, I guess we have to, huh? They're not letting us pause, look at the map, warp, etc. Alright, well that was, uh, certainly a more interesting beach episode than I would have expected. Oh shit, they, we can actually do shit here. <laughs> that was funny. I hope we get to keep this. That's not just like a convenient distraction from the credits roll. So. All right, cuz demon idiot boy got the evil seed or magic seed or whatever the fuck, right? <laughs> oh, sick. Yeah, there's Carlos and Susas are uh <laughs> still training or whatever. <laughs> and apparently Carlos uh grew some hair. Train more assiduously. Oh, damn, that's a sick word. Nice. Oh, ruh oh. <laughs> Waiting for someone to. I have no idea who's under that cloak. Stay driven! My name is looking for experienced botanists. Rumor has it you two are the best silent has to offer. What's it to you? Come across a very rare magic seed, which, given proper care, is bound to grow into a beautiful plant. Aw, oh, crap. Aw, oh, he's gonna pull a fast one on him. No, don't do it. Don't listen to that guy. No, 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 don't. Oh. Give herbs that can be used for cooking. No. Oh, no, they're getting taken in by this. Oh, crap. Well, we know where we need to go now. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. That should continue sometime later. It's not up to me. Feel free to play Picnic Panic, though. Alright! Let's see. Well, let's head up to the Searing Crags, then. Let's try to intercept what's his nuts before they grow the seed or whatever. If that's even a thing, or if it's just like kind of a teaser to something else. Uh, yeah? Yeah, okay. Grab a few things on the way here, huh? Actually, no, I want, I want to be in the future, I think, right? I did really enjoy the, the beach adventure, though. That was, that was quite nice. Quite nice. And out of it all, we got a, you know, a reasonable facsimile of a punch-out game. So, you know... No loss there at all. Alright, so we're, we're in the future, right? So that thing should have grown-ish? Oh no, maybe we shouldn't... we should have been in the past. Should have been in the past, so we could talk to whatever their names are. Collins... Collins and Seuss's. Humorous names to keep up the Colossus's joke.
All right, so hey, you guys get visited by a weird cloak dude. Now this was before they did their like agility training or whatever. So what the hell? <laughs> Come on, they wouldn't tease something like that just to to pull it away, would they? Ah, oh, I see. They don't let you just jump down and do it, huh? Boo. Hmm. Are they- they might be planning a second DLC or something, huh? I'd be okay with that. More of this shit? Hell yeah. I'm, I'm there. But it appears that that would- That's the case, at least. It doesn't seem like that little bit is- Is available to us. It has something to do with the uh, mask bits and that other voodoo feather we missed before. Although I doubt that. I doubt they would tie in optional collectibles into something as serious as perhaps a, a part of the storyline, right? I'll make one more check here just to just to be sure. Yeah, there goes that stuff. All right. Well, okay. That being the case, um, make sure we're saved up here, and we are. Uh, we got one more thing we can buy. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Hold, 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 hold on. There's a new thing there. What is this? What be this? Altar I saw on top of Fire Mountain? Yeah, it is. Be a cool addition to the shop. What happened to the cage monster thing is useless, so I got rid of it. Aww. I was using the altar to store any voodoo feathers and mask pieces. You find magic, but then the altar tells me you have yet to find one more feather and two mask pieces. I mean, yes. But. Hmm. Alright. Got a little bit of time still, so. Uh... Oh, cool. It tells me where they are, too. That's nice. Tells me where they are and allows me to jump right there. Good. Okay, I have a feeling though this last mask piece is like three quarters of the way through the area, so uh take a bit for us to get back there. Oh, maybe not. Only about halfway. Quickly grab what we can. The, that feather might be outside of our purview for a bit, though. Continually fuck up the segment that it's in. Ow. Shit.
and we're over and then up to the top. <laughs> Ah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, totally ignored that last time, didn't I? <laughs> yep, there it is. Okay, and then there's one in the next segment, and then just the feather on the surfing bit. Assuming I could probably just swap back and then go to the <clears throat> next area right away. Great start. <laughs> All right, whereabouts is this last one then? Uh, let's see, near the end. Uh, All right. <clears throat> Oh, no, it didn't actually. Damn it. <laughs> even the oh there
week. Ah! Shit. Right there. Don't kill that last one. Fudge. Alright. Ah! Uh, hmm.
long as it needs to be. Second group doesn't appear until we get high enough. Uh, sort of. <laughs> we killed the top one. No good. There we go. Sort of. Ah! <laughs> We gotta not kill the second one with our... There, like that. Oh no! Ah, fuck. Ah, so we just barely get enough air to get the next one up. There we go. Like that. Almost, but a little bit faster and better. Ah shit. Ah shit. <laughs> Ah, oh, I had it. I fucking murdered him because I got panicky. There we go. Ah, we gotta chain him together. Ah, gross. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We know what to do now. Ugh. There we go. Okay, good. They only make you, make you do it twice. Alright. That's the last bit of mask, right? I think I just got that feather in the surfing bit, and then we're good. It's the nearest thing. Not too far away. Maybe we can just fall down. We'll give it one additional go here for this last thing. If we don't get it, whatever. It's fine. It's just probably just a collectible or whatever. And then you get some fancy cosmetic or something, right? It's usually how this goes. But we'll give it one more go. Uh, it's the third one in that set. If we happen to fuck it up, fuck it up. Whatever. No, 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 damn it. I didn't want to fucking... Why do they- why do they make yes the default? <laughs> Damn it. Alright, let's go. So 
we get a bunch of time juice as we're doing this too. That's not the one we're going for. We did it. Probably just need to do the boss fight again and we'll be fine. Okay, okay, let's see what all this got us now. One more weird hentai moment. <laughs>
And a little more beach episode intro, yada yada yada. One more Ruxton on stilts. <laughs> it's so goofy. in this dimension here. <clears throat> Activate the altar and see what happens. Oh, shit! So <laughs> I get it. The mask. Okay, I get it. That's funny. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> do you know what do you have in Oh my god. <laughs> Example how great I am at comedy. Okay. Alright, got a good one. Ruxton's favorite fruit. Oh no. The spine apple. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> and the achievement's name is Thanks. I hate it. That's great. I love it. Yeah, Ventress. Hey, so what's- oh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no, please. Uh, I'll do it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't understand what the deal is with this mask. The deal?! <laughs> We're here to offer you a deal. Available in New Game Plus exclusively. Come see you if you're interested to learn more about the deal. Doing an occasional joke for your entertainment. Okay, cool. I can do some of those. Yeah, let's go. Oh, the butterfly made sure I could see when she wasn't prepared. Uh, did she wing it? Ah! <laughs> uh, fucking hilarious. Yeah, okay, so we have to be in New Game Plus for, the, for this thing to, to happen, I guess, huh? Okay, very good. Fucking amazing. Just incredible. Okay, well, we, we've we've done it. We have done our beach adventure, our beach episode. We have collected all of the things. There's an unresolved like thread going on though. What with the what's his nuts given the colossus colossi colossi, uh, the weird magic seed or whatever, and nothing came of that apparently. So uh, we've got that going. I don't think we can do anything about it though, so I guess we're done for tonight. Well, cool. This was a nice, this was a nice adventure. Very good. The messenger, recommended. Two thumbs up. Great, good, good game, good game. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7:30 p.m. CDT. It'll be Shmup Book Club. We'll have our new Shmup for month of May. It hasn't yet been determined, but we'll find out tomorrow. And we've also got Eskatos and Dodon Pachi on tap. For that in case we don't like the monthly um should be fun though uh friday we're off saturday is always up in the air and then sunday 7 p.m cdt more long play we're gonna go back to zero ranger white vanilla mode do some more score attack should be fun but that'll do it for tonight thanks for watching everybody i'll see you tomorrow Bye bye